Okay. Here we go. Audio test. Audio sucking and fucking. Sucking and we're fucking, yeah. Sucking and we're Thank you. 
Happy, happy, happy. Hello, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Stinky Whistle Teeth. This is a song about a whale. No! This is a song about being happy. That's right. It's the happy, happy, joy, joy song. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. I don't think you're happy enough. That's right. I'll teach you to be happy. I'll teach your grandmother to suck eggs. Now, boys and girls, let's try it again. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 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 Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. If then you ain't the granddaddy of all liars. The little critters of nature. They don't know that they're ugly. That's very funny. A fly marrying a bumblebee. I told you I'd shoot, but you didn't believe me. Why didn't you believe me? Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, 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 happ
We're just trying to get to the fucking light switch. There we go. It's so hard to find the lights in the pitch black. Anyway, it's time for bed. It's just always random times, so it looks like it's like after midnight here, so. Happy, happy. So I woke up at eight. And it's right now, we have no money. Let me check my notes and see when the kill you will be finished brewing. Monday night, 9 p.m. And it's now Wednesday morning. Uh, so by tonight, I'll get this off the microphone. It's noisy. Tonight, I can still hear the kill you bubbling. Happy. Happy. My sucking, fucking, sucking down the block. I need this mosquito repellent. Oh, here it is. These are empty. <laughs> I just have empties. It's a beautiful morning. Blue skies. We'll make our way uh, downtown. Where we have all the downtown boys at our command. I gotta replace this item. The rocker shaft. I'll do that while I'm in town. That's about that's about it. I think I, I just gassed this up. It's fully gassed. Nearly ready to go. At least I'm pretty sure those are true numbers.
Where am I going? I can't afford anything. What am I about to go do? Oh, you know, I never checked my fish. I never checked on my fish over there. To bring to the grandmother. What can I do to make money? Besides... Oh yeah, because I gotta replace this fucking shaft. I can't afford to replace the shaft right now. Okay. I'll figure something out. Maybe I will check on those fish. I'm not doing these shit pumping jobs, man. I can't even afford to gas that truck up. I can't afford to do the shit jobs. Let's see what's on the radio. Okay. There's no such thing made by Candy with that name. It's it's a it's it's a device used made by Candy to measure the measure the uh the dig it. Sir, you're wasting my time. Rodney? There's no Rodney here. Randy? No. My brother Randy. No, this is 860-7602. Yes, that is his number, man. Rodney, man. No, no, nobody here by that name. No, the, um, the Nugent Records. I have no idea what you're talking about. The Nugent Records, man. Look at the that Nugent fatty. Albums. Walking around on my I property. Man, um, Rodney's Nugent tape, man. You know, the Nugent, Ted Nugent. Yeah. He's got that tape of Nugent doing it. No, you got the wrong number, man. No, man, come on, please, the news your record. It's the one record, man, I need to get. Well, this isn't Rodney Brown. No, Rand Rodney, Randy, you know, whoever, you know, got the news. Well, nobody's here by that name. You got that news tape, man? No, I sure don't. I don't even have a tape player. You what? I don't even have a tape player. <sighs> what am I supposed to do about this record, bro? I don't know, man. Your choice, bro. I don't know, man. Sorry. What do you recommend, bro? I don't know, um... To try a record store. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You got the wrong number. Wrong number, man. Yeah, you got the wrong number. Rodney lives at 86, uh, okay, 076, so uh, 206 or whatever, you know. Yeah. You got that new tape on disc, you know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. This, I, listen, I got somebody on the line. I got to go. You got the wrong number, okay? Well, it's, it's bad when he gets into that phone, you know. Well, listen, I'm sorry. You got the wrong number. Call, call somebody else. Unless you're speaking a foreign language, I'm not familiar with, which is what it sounds like. I'm not familiar with it. It's what like an a device. It's an oscilloscope oriented device. We don't sell oscilloscopes. You called me about two weeks ago and asked me about this. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Must have been someone else. No, it's oscilloscopes. It's not an oscilloscope. It's an oscilloscope related product. Right. You don't sell those things. Um, how about the Candy Corporation sells them under a different name for some other company? How about Biblio Duangus? Never heard of it. <laughs> how much is that retailing for in, in sure, stock? I'm wasting my time. I'm going to hang Ooh. up and I'm not going to answer again next time. Don't hang up, sir. Give me one more. And get straight with me very quickly. Okay. I'm interested in buying a PC this evening. That's my second reason for calling. This is the same game we played last time. I'm, I'm not playing games. On. And you keep hanging up when I when I go to get information. I'm not hanging up on it. a little while ago and asked me about the flutter rate for an LCD screen. <laughs> There's no such measurement on an LCD screen. So there is no flutter on that unit, is that what you're There's telling me? no flutter rate measurement on an LCD screen. So it is a good unit then, right? Goodbye. Should I'm not providing you with a frigging thing, fella. Let me speak to your supervisor and we'll resolve that. That's nice. The radio here is so pure. Ah, 
päätä ja vaivaako armoton kankkunen? Ei hätää, Juokaasu Ojut Kangas on avannut uuden klinikan Ouluun. Enää ei tarvitse matkustaa Helsinkiin asti, vaan apu löytyy Oulun upouudesta klinikasta, jossa ammattitaitoinen henkilökuntamme hoitavat suuremmatkin kankkuset alta aika yksikön. Tule Ojut Kangas klinikalle Ouluun. Iloinen mieli Ilokaasulla, Ojut Kangas. Teveistä tuttu kauniitte rohkeat jäätelö nyt kaupoissa. Makuina suklaamokka ja cheesecake Amerikan Dööli. Aa, fantastisen hyvää. Tästä Ritkekin tykkää. Jyhmikö päätä ja vaivaako armoton kankkunen? Ei hätää. Juokaasu Ojut Kangas on avannut uuden klinikan Ouluun. Enää ei tarvitse matkustaa Helsinkiin asti, vaan apu löytyy Oulun upouudesta klinikasta, jossa ammattitaitoinen henkilökuntamme hoitavat suuremmatkin kakkuset. Is she rapping? Tule Ojut Kankaa klinikalle Ouluun. Iloinen mieli Ilokaasulla, Ojut Kangas. Onko kutinaa karvaosantossa? Vaivaako hävytäin? Ei hätää, osta uutta pupi, sillä hävytäiden poista tärpättiä. Tilaa heti numerosta 0700 We have just uh, just a little ways to go before we get to town here. I think we're at town. And now... We're too poor to do anything. I will take the truck around the, the block here and pump those dudes shit because they're right here and I need the money. <laughs> I, I did it because I needed the money. And, uh... Uh-oh. I, I hear somebody's sick. beer with us. Okay, here we go. Is there a throttle? Is there a hand throttle? Oh, I didn't know there was an interior light. I could have used that last night. Yeah, here's the hand throttle. I never used that. That's why I was going so slow.
Okay. I think I know what I'm doing. Here he goes. I've pumped this guy's shit already. If, what happens if you do it before they want you to? Hello, sir. I'm here to pump your shit. Nee. Okay. I'm your shit pumper, sir. Oh yeah, that shit is full. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pump all your shit there, dude. And while the while the truck sucks, I'll be sucking. Oh, there it goes. Beautiful. We'll suck in the exhaust while we're sucking that hog. Yeah, boy. We suck in that shit. Now look here. You like that? Oh, just ignore me while I'm doing it. Yeah, that's... I like that, too. Oh, and you're smoking. This is so trashy and hot. Oh, Alright, that's enough. Let's check on your sewage. Looking good, man. Looking like I'm about to get paid. That's the bus. So this guy... As soon as all the shit gets sucked out, this guy's gonna pay me. What the blowjob? What's his name? Terse? Undead Ashley, hey, how the hell are you? 
I see you're living. Okay, I think that's all the sewage I can suck there. Oh, he's very happy with this. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, we needed something, man. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Undead Ashley. It's more than just a phase. There's a long fucking hose. Whoops. Until next time. I'll be back here to pump your shit again, sir. I love sucking shit. <laughs> Ashley, uh, since you're just tuning in, we were desperately broke until just a moment ago. <coughs> and even now we aren't doing much better. I think I'm gonna hit that guy's mailbox. Did I hit it? I went through it. And now, you know, things are finally starting to look up for old hate sack. Truck is doing this thing, I don't understand. Alright, so I pumped his sewage. And then there's one more. Oh, okay. Maybe it's over here. I'm just gonna do these two in town and then I'm gonna split. That was one. Yeah, that guy. And then the other one should be maybe right around here. Maybe it's that guy. Oh yeah, yeah, he's sitting outside. He wants me to suck his shit. Okay. Undead Ashley. Check. Let's see if this is good. I need to come back quite a lot. Oh, that's perfect. We're going to suck every last drop of this shit. You don't want to fall in there and die. Oh, and it jumps straight in. Oh, wow. There it goes. Wow. Is that a 10 out of 10 fucking hose placement or what? Jesus. Like that was, you could not ask for a better... Let's hit that pump. <laughs> 
Yeah, boy, we're pumping shit now. You ask what am I doing? This is what I'm doing. There's some little uh, kids playing ball out here. Yeah. Look at him running like that, like one of those creatures from System Shock too. <laughs> not, not at all, childlike. Hey man, your shit's pumping just fine. Your shit is pumping, like you've like Uncle didn't used to do it this way, did he? We're getting all the shit. I mean, all the shit. Peering at him through the trees. So I guess I'm about to double my money. That will be good, and then I'll sell the kill you uh, tomorrow. And I'll have mo the most money I've ever had. At one time. I could even afford to, to change the block on this car. But I'm gonna... Oh. <laughs> Just take the money and let's continue with our lives. Okay. Thank you. Oh no, this is the problem with this. We might not be able to get the the hose out of here. Oh, it just wants to go back in. Oh, I could just drive it out. Just drive it forward, pull it out. That's what I'll have to do. Whoop, I'm on top! Oh no, the hose came loose. <laughs> this is difficult. Now we're getting it. Okay. Oh, don't stare at me like that. He he gets a show. He paid for his show. Okay. Now we can go. And, and I'm just going to take this back over there and put it back. I, I think I'm running out of gas pretty bad. Yeah, it's almost completely empty. So I'm going to park it at the gas station. almost hit that guy.
Oh, we almost died of thirst here. I was not watching that at all. Okay. Here's the van. Oh, I have enough for my part now. I'm also going to check inside and... that food. Their music is good. That's good music. crap. Maybe another battery, but I'm not gonna spend like I've got extra. Thank you, Timo. Timo is a sweetheart. And uh, I think we're in love. Now we'll head down to Fleeteries and try to get that part. talking about. Let me just talk to your supervisor then. We don't need to continue this. One moment. This is Desmond Sanford. I don't know what it is you're talking about, so return the centipedes to the sender. How's that? Okay? Did Noah explain to you we are authorized to throw the centipedes at you? You're authorized to throw them at me physically. What, what are you playing? Games or what is this? No, no. Hang up. Mark. Call our ID. will get it. Go ahead. You will pay for your centipedes. I didn't order any centipedes. Or we will hurl the centipedes at you. Well, you hurl the centipedes if that's the appropriate term you wish to use. We're they come from Alaska? What? The centipedes. Oh, they're going to be coming at your lips in a minute. Yeah, well, come on ahead. I got the recorder on. What's your name anyway, dude? Brock. <laughs> Brock. Shit. How would you like a centipede at your head? Go ahead. You better cut that up, but leave me alone. Huh? Huh? What did you say? I said, stop it. Now, I need to bring your monkey. When was my best time for that one? I don't know. I just want to know if you shocked my monkey. If you shocked my monkey, I don't want him back. I'm going to shock your lip. You're going to shock my lip? I'm going to fracture your lip, as I said. So go ahead, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, he's top big now, huh? I get downtown, we ain't gonna be so so uh, pleasantly surprised, I'll tell you that right now. You know, I think I will be pleasantly surprised to find that you are just a little wimpier of a man. Mm, sure, can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to process some wasps. Now, I don't even know what wasps are. You mean like a bee? It's meat. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean by process? Grind up or? Yeah. Oh, just ground up. What is, uh, yeah, what do you do with wasp meat? Oh, uh, it's for eating. Oh, it's for eating. Uh huh. Oh. Could you, could you grind Emilio for me? Would that be a problem? I I don't even know what Emilio is. This Steve may help you. Yeah, I need some eel jerky made. Oh, you've got the meat. The eel meat, yeah. 
Or not, we're still doing game processing this time of year. Can you make any uh, wasp jerky for me? I've got that all uh, USDA approved already. Oh, so there you go. Where do you get it from? Well, we trap them. Huh. Oh, whatever. We'll make wad out of snake meat. What's wad? Make a big wad out of it. <laughs> Look at. I'm trying to work. I don't know what you're trying to do. Can you handle eel bow? Eel. Bow? You got deer meat, elk meat, or antelope meat? I'll be happy to process it into anything that you want. Antelope wad. What the hell's an antelope wad? Okay, what's your number? I'll call you back. I ain't got time right now. I'm trying to hang sausage. Well, can you hang the bow for me and just let it dry at least? <laughs> Come on. You're stroking me, right? I don't hang it. Eel bow. That's exotic. i never seen it in Safeways. Hey, look at I got, I'm trying to make sausage. I need you to, to, mat, to make an eel bow wad. I don't want to do it. Oh, Bernie and Brighton, you're on KBIC 1090 with Irvin Joe. Isn't Pocahontas a school mascot? <laughs> I don't think so. Bernie, how are you? Pretty good, thanks, uh, evening. Uh, I just wanted to share with you maybe a conversation I had with Red Miller recently. With who? Red Miller. Red go Miller, ahead, yeah, go ahead, Ernie. I had in the past spoke to him about Mark Castano and the fact that, you know, that man knew what was going on on both sides of the football. Uh, we can start talking about, oh, this king, We've got a real bad connection here. Ernie, please call back. Terrible connection. Let's go right to the phones. You drive in the goddamn parking lot here, there's a white Cadillac. I'll be standing right next to it. You drive in the lot, I'll guarantee you I'll blow your fucking head off. I got an equalizer for young guys like you. I wouldn't have any place to graze the live lambs. The lambs are filled with helium. What? How could they be live if they were filled with helium? What are you saying? What are you, what are you trying cool to guy. say? Cool guy. Hey, cool guy. What are you, trying to say? you said that I have a delivery of live, living. So you're so cool. Animal. Am I correct? You are so cool that, um, oh, it's the mansion, and I found my old beer. So you're just, you're so cool that, that your name is Cool Guy. I mean, you. You were so cool that it just became your fucking name. I don't think I've ever met anyone as cool as you. I mean, why do you even have to put numbers after your name if you're so cool? Is it not just uh, a given at this point? That, I mean, how can there be any other cool guys with you here? Maybe you're not that cool, right? Maybe you're just a cool guy. So here we are at, at town. We're here to have, uh, we're going to buy a new part for the car. I didn't realize that I would need this part, but car's fucked without it. It won't. Whoops. <laughs> okay. We're honking just to let him know we're here. I hope I made it in time. I did. Good. What's up, man? There it is. That's what I need. Oh, it's expensive. But it's new. But it's new. Yeah, those were bad, I think. Thank you. Kindly. My good man. Do I have the old one? Or does it replace it? I think it replaces it. Oh, um, one more thing, Fleetering. Before I go, do you have any piss in the face? Are yeah, you like that? I'm getting it all up and down your shit. 
on your Van Craze t-shirt. You're going to have to go home and change. People are going to say, boy, you stinky. You smell like piss. You smell like that gentleman's piss that was just in here. He bought a rocker shaft. You smell like his piss. His. Oh, is it locked? I, I must have got that just in time. All right. Here we go. Some pretty good old boys up here at Fleeteries. That guy needs his sewage done. Maybe I'll do it next. But not now. I gotta get home, install this rocker shaft, probably gotta tune the valves again. And then what? Then the car's running. I've got that fuel air mixture gauge now. And I believe I even connected it. I don't really know. The van seems slow. Oh, the parking brake was still on. Just a little bit. There's Yuko. He wants to buy more booze. Whew. Almost wrecked the van. <laughs> We're going way too fast. Okay. Well, I'm back here though. I'm good. I'm good. So the next thing you have to do, once you've got your rocker shaft in is you gotta fucking tune it, right? Gotta tune those valves. Eight of them. That was my turn. Oh, uh-oh. Almost rolled the van over. It's tempting to go as fast as the van can possibly go on these roads. But it is just a van, and it goes flying off.
being for the benefit of Mr. Kite. I always thought that was a pretty good song. That it was maybe a little too campy for the tone of the song if you listen to the notes. So it gets overlooked. Okay, we got our, our groceries here. Oh, we were not wearing a seatbelt either. We got into that serious near accident. All right, this is all food here. Oh yeah, sausages and pizza and fucking everything. Macaronis. Oh, I got no cigarettes. Yeet! Yeet, what's going on, man? How the fuck are ya? Did you hear those dogs barking last night? Did you hear those puppers a howling? I should have bought coffee while I was in town. That's one thing I forgot. Alright, so it's Wednesday night. Th this should be done bubbling. Or maybe overnight. Those puppers were barking! Yeah, that bucket's done. So in the morning, uh, we're going to go and brew everything up and sell it to Yuko. Whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, do I need coffee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to... Well, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, no coffee. Because I will just work on the motor until I get tired. Where's my part? Get it. Get it. Yeah. The rocker shaft here. Oh, you dreamed about Bob? What was Bob a doing? What was old Bob doing? Yeah, so I got my, my rocker shaft. It's got to go in there. Hopefully I'll be able to start the car at that point and tune it.
Okay, that's it. There's my rocker shaft. Now, I, I, I want to turn it on and just... All right, let me let me tighten it down. And then I'll get out the screwdriver if I need to. Good, and that that bolt works now. So the lip that went that that bolt went into is what was fucked up. Oh my god, Bob was sleeping in your house and he and he like dragged you around and dropped batteries on you and pissed on you and stuff. That's nuts. All right, let me connect uh, connect the battery here, and I, I'll be starting this car. Let's see here. It better not make a fucking noise. Come on. I'll get the wiring mess and make sure everything's connected. Is the starter connected? Aren't there two things here that need to get connected? Okay, I see that one is connected. It's all... Oh, wait, what was that? So, my wiring mess is all together here. Let me try tightening the spark plugs. They're tight. the fuck was that?
Did the starter just die? Alright, so I still don't understand what's wrong with the car. And, uh, just have to go to bed for the time being and wake up in the morning and see about it. Oh, maybe we won't get up in the morning. We just got the call. Oh, you 
Marco, is that you? You go, I'm on my way. I'll bring the light this time. Just in case. Oh yeah, and I need to bring food. Or I'll just eat a macaroni. There we go. We've got an uncle to pick up. No, he's not the uncle. He's just drunk, right? He's just a drunk. I'm one to talk. We'll move this beer out of his way. Assassin's Creed, that's a pretty good game. I should have brought the booze with me, but that's okay. We have a good time, and what all we're trying to do is just provide a site that where you have some high quality reflection about the social misery both here and around the world and the various forms of resistance and critique uh, to that social misery. But we also spend a lot of time with the resistance. What is your question, you know, From Bootsy Collins to Lecrae to Rhapsody and so forth. So that for us, you know, the arts in all of its forms ought to be uh, uh, integral to any serious talk about resistance and critique. When it you comes have a quick question? I only answer long questions. Police murder, economic exploitation of workplace, patriarchal violence, the devaluing of precious trans or gays and lesbians or whatever form that suffering and social misery takes. And we're having a good time. We, are, we got Brother Jeremy, Sister Allie, and, uh, and the others working with us. And uh, we learn a lot from you all. I tell you that. It's been one year now, right? One yeah, year. one year in August it'll be, yeah. Yes, indeed, indeed. Well, you make such a good combination. And Trish Thank and I you. make a wonderful combination. Yeah, I love your vibe. I love it. It's like... Ugh, it's, your it's vibe. Shut the fuck up. Accessible. It's not formal or stuffy. It's really, it's like very joyful, even though you're it's like very, very joyful. It's like, a, it's, it's like a, just, it's like a, it's very, it's very pumpkin funny spice too, latte in my hand. You have a very no, no, funny, no, yeah. Yeah. You were a guy, and I appreciate yeah. that. No, it's great. Yeah. Very joyful. No, it'd be. For Very humor, joyful. it's kind of a, it's a strange time, right? I mean, it's a, there isn't a whole lot of that. He's not a comedian, you fuck. These days, and especially in political media. Like, what do you think that's all about? Because that is, that is something that's been very notable with you always. You've always had a great sense of humor, but I, I don't see it so uh, much. Now he's justifying you know, the question. In we, others. We plan to reach out to Brother David Chappelle. You know, he's one of the great uh, artistic geniuses when it comes yes, to Yes, I remember Call of Duty montages. He even they were hilarious. Jokes. 
and held back from the human. But I think that humor is always a fundamental part of whatever the human situation is. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, we had our Jewish brothers and sisters in the most indescribably evil situation uh, in the Holocaust, and they had jokes in concentration camps, which meant that they didn't allow the Nazis to suffocate their humanity, even though they were trying to do that. And the jokes, humor, grin, touch, uh, uh, sound, noise, music, all of these are the most primal forms human beings have of objectifying their grief and not allowing their grief to completely suffocate what it is to be human for them. And therefore, I hope that the, uh, the comics take off. You know, yeah, they all had dubstep. The they had 360 no scopes. He has some funny they had crazy say, right, zooming the in. Of catastrophe. Yeah, and it's so it's such a truth telling. 2012 also, montage. Um, Absolutely. And it reaches people, I think, in a way that in these dark times, I mean, in these dark it is times, a way to reach, cut through stuff because people. All right. I love Cornell West, but I cannot listen to these interviewers from their fucking desks. Ugh. Could you just get out of the way of it? Hard to say. Dell goes out because we think uh, one of the guys is about to show up and is going to be looking for, you know, the young team to wait him in. I don't see anybody. I'll come back inside then. No real point in being out here. She comes back in and, and now this couple comes over and, and we really don't see where they're coming from. This is very strange. I'm wondering. You know, is, is this somebody we're expecting? Was this somebody who chatted with our decoy? Who's on our front door, Mike? There are... Hi, how are you? Chris Hansen, how are you? You're uh, from Dateline. Exactly. Oh, exactly. oh okay. Um, okay. So the, the, the police know what's going on. And it, okay. it turns out that they were friends of the man from whom we rented the house. And they had seen some activity, and they're just checking to see, you know, what was going on. <laughs> they saw Dell outside, and wanted to go and they were just checking up on things. It's just an example of the unexpected things that always happen when we do one of these investigations. This guy looks like Mario. When he showed up, and he made no bones about what he wanted to do when he got there. And the chat was very explicit. Where are you at? I have to go change out of my clothes, okay? Okay. Just hang out the bar for a second. I'll be right back down. I just have on like a jacket and a thermal and a t-shirt and another thermal and like 80,000 pounds of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little late to be prowling around these parts, huh? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Why don't you have a seat right over here for me? All right, thanks. Right there on the stool. Appreciate it. What's happening? Not a whole lot. How you doing? Good. How are you? Not bad. What are you up to tonight? Not a whole lot. What are you doing here? Uh, a friend asked me to come over. A friend? And who's that friend? Um, a girl. A girl. What's the girl's name? Um, I'm not sure. How about Sadie? Does that sound familiar? Well, yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. And how old is Sadie? Uh, 18. 18? Mm-hmm. That's what she said on the phone. That's what she said on the phone? Yeah. What did she say on the internet? She said... 15 or 16, but I said, no, you got to be 18. Really? Yeah. Now, do you want to rethink that and tell the <laughs> truth this time, or do you want to stick with that story? Okay, we got it. Here he is. He's been up all night. 
making 2012 montages. Oh man, I I launched the beer through the windshield. <laughs> he's he's suicidal. Let's get you home. Suicidal drunk man. His wife left him. He's he's broken hearted. I can drink to that, champ. Yeet says, and now, wait a minute, I go right. Now we have seven-year-olds who know every cuss word in the English language. And when they die in Fortnite, they smash up their rooms. I guess we do, don't we? I guess that's around now. Uh, kids that are just overexposed, completely oversaturated, never had a chance to be bored, and yet now they're bored with everything. And so they get in these little activities that's supposed to fill their time and it becomes their significance, and then they fucking go ape shit when it's disturbed. I get that. It's, a, it's unhealthy living. Parents have these kids, man, like the way you might adopt a kitten or something. Like, wouldn't it be cute if... It's like, yeah, I guess. I guess it'd be cute, you know, fucking create another you. Devote your entire life to it. It resents you anyway. That's going to be cute. Or worse, you don't devote your life to it. You've just polluted the environment, society, and everything with more seven-year-olds that smash up their rooms, don't pay attention in school, don't make anything significant or better, or suck it and fucking all day, every day. Don't even enjoy it. And then you got this guy who dresses up like Mario and goes to pick up a kid. The fucker. Yeah. Rape a kid. So that was a big lie about the 18 thing that you just said. Oh, I don't remember. I was talking to quite a few people. It's almost 2.30 in the morning. How far did you travel tonight to be there? I came from Columbus. Columbus. Mm -hmm. What did that take you to get down here from Columbus? Mm, I don't know. Probably a couple hours. A couple hours. Uh huh. That's a long ride mm -hmm. at this time of night. Yes, sir. What makes a man get in a car and drive two hours? I don't know. Just somebody wanted to meet me, and I want to meet them. I guess. How old are you? Like you? I'm 42. You're 42. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm. Is that my turn? For I mean, to like. It might have been my turn. Do anything or anything. What made you think it was okay at 42 years old to walk into a home at uh, roughly 2:30 in the morning, where a 15-year-old girl? Girl. Was apparently home alone. Well, I wasn't for sure she was 15 or not. Oh, well, that's what she said on the internet. Are you still a virgin? <laughs> Stupid question for an older woman to ask a girl like that. She says, well, I'm not telling anyone if you won't. My mom would have a freaking cow. Well, don't worry, it's our secret. Well, I can come over there. Is the parents gone? Again, you say, you got to promise me you're not like 5-0. That's... The police, Cops, right? right. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't want to get locked up. Looks like I'm going to. And me sucking your little sweet spot. This <laughs> is stupid. I want to taste you for real. <laughs> God, man. <laughs> but baby, fifteen can get me twenty. Yeah, it probably can. It probably will. During the Jesus. chat, he acknowledges that visiting this 15-year-old girl is wrong. 
He even jokes at one point, you know, 15 will get me 20. In other words, if I get convicted of being with you, I could face 20 years in prison. Am I under arrest, sir? You're not under arrest, no, not now as we speak. Okay, thank you. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens on the internet. Uh, now, if there's something else you'd like to tell us, no. we'd like to hear it. If not, obviously, you're, you're free to leave. Thank you. Let's <clears throat> go read your eyes, okay? Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Coming up. Anything you say can't will be used against you in court of law. At the end of uh, the Ohio investigation, we knew that there was a possibility we, we, we might find fewer potential predators because we were, we were out there, you know, especially at night. Uh, the road signs weren't great, not a lot of street lights. Uh, we were across the street from a big farm. It was uh, a neighborhood, but a neighborhood attached to a very rural area. We got uh, about the number of men we expected. and, and a it's always men. It's never women going out to some fucking uh, farm town. <laughs> you drove two hours down here? So here's his house. Hey man, it's been great seeing you again. Thank you, Yuko. Good night. I'll be, uh... <laughs> I'll be selling you some booze here shortly. He's on the right. Yeah. Okay. Woo! How's my day been? I don't know. It's okay, I guess. I ordered Taco Bell. Ate some gummy bears. Fucking wallowing in my own misery after a uh, breakup just normal stuff you know watching chris hansen tell people why don't you have a seat over there it says here you were on the internet meeting young girls online for sex that makes me feel a little better Watching other people's lives come apart <laughs> makes me feel a little bit better about my own. It's not the same as watching starving kids in Africa, but, you know, it's something. Let's see what else is on the radio here. Here's the pretend predator. He's sitting in the car in the front. It's busy at our undercover house in Long Beach, California. Okay, he's getting out of the car. Just stay tight and we'll go to the front door. Remember, we asked our previous suspect to go out the back way so it wouldn't scare off our next visitor. Hi, how are you doing? Come on in. He's Paul Clemente, a 22-year-old college student from San Diego. Clemente spoke online with someone he thought was a 13-year-old girl. At first, Clemente says she's too young, but soon asks her if she's had sex and what position she's used. Finally, he gets down to business. So when's the time I could come to your house? Of course, when your mom is not around. I'm asking when, so we can go out. Clemente asks if she's had sex in a hot tub. When the decoy answers yes, he writes back, You're making me horny. For good measure, he sends along this picture of his penis. Then he tells her something that really surprises us. You're going to be my first. That's right. Whoa. He may think she's 13, 
but he's the one who says he's a virgin. Now, the 22-year-old virgin is in the house. All right, can you pour me a drink really fast? Thanks. Awesome, yeah. I'm just going to go get my hair ready. <laughs> She's okay. so obviously an adult. I'm excited, by the way. This decoy is just a fucking so adult woman. Too? How you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's wrong? I'm sorry. Please have a seat. I'm sorry. What were you doing here? She said so excited to see me. She said she was excited to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna sneak this guy back. To yeah, the he gets trailer. no love. As we're having our conversation, <laughs> he gets no love in his life. He finally meets this 13-year-old who's excited to see him. Excited to see me. Okay, here we go. We are back. Um, let's put the brake on. Fucking seatbelt. It's time to make the booze. Because I started it Monday night, then Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Yeah, it's Thursday. Here we go. Um, my friend told me, he said, yeah, just take it to the van. Don't take every individual jug and, and fucking <laughs> run it into the kitchen. Like, you can't just take the bucket out to the van. You know, who's going to see me? The police? the last one yeah cool let's get this party started All right, this is all my my juice jugs. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. All right, so I got my kill you. Got my jugs. Cool. Oh, this is so easy. Is that, is that all of it? I still have, I still have a little bit more left over. That's awesome. All right, well, let's put the, let's put the lid on it. And let's not get pulled over with it, that, I guess. So I'll just put it back in the house. I could go ahead and start another batch, but I will wait until after I turn these in. Okay. This is good money.
conversation inside. Outside, the Long Beach police decide this is a good time to sneak into the backyard and arrest our earlier visitor. First subject in custody. I didn't say anything bad, sir. You didn't say anything bad. If he says he didn't say anything bad, what about what he showed her, like the picture of his genitals? I want to show you something. Sir, please. You sent her that photograph. Sir, is that, Did you send that to her? Yes, sir. To somebody who said she was a 13-year-old girl. Oh, uh, he's like molesting her over the internet. Sir, she said it's okay. She said it's okay. So because a 13-year-old girl says it's okay, you do it. As for that claim that he Sex. didn't say anything bad online, what about telling her he'll perform oral sex on her or asking if she's ever had anal sex? Have you ever had conversations like this with teenage girls on the internet before? No, this is my first time. Your first time. Yes. You know, I hear that a lot. Can you imagine why I'm a little skeptical on that? Sir, yes. well, virtually everybody you watch in this house says the same thing. I'm, sorry. I'm guessing that not everybody's telling the truth. Sure, I'm sorry, sir. And as we suspected, when Clemente first covered his face, he knows there are cameras in the house. Do you ever watch television? Yes, I know, sir. You know what? The show, sir. The show. Yes, sir. Have you seen the show on television? Yes, a couple of times. A couple of times. And you know what the show is called? Deadline. Deadline what? To catch a predator. Sir, I'm not a pretty predator, sir, but I'm just... You're not a real predator. No, sir. Just a pretend predator. No, I'm just curious, sir. A curious predator. A curious. I'm not a really predator, sir. So you saw those other shows we did. Yes, sir. Then you probably know that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and, yes, and you know the story we're doing. Yes, sir. So if there's anything else you'd like to tell us, we'd like to hear it. If not, you can walk out the door you came in. Yeah, please. I'm just... I'm sorry. And since he knows about our investigations, he probably knows what to expect when he steps outside. Put your hands up. I'm not a criminal, sir. Put your fingers. I'm not a criminal, sir. Clemente is arrested and charged with an attempted lewd act upon a child. He later pleaded no contest. Both he and our earlier suspect, who was in the backyard, are led away to be processed. He was arrested. He did 60 days community service, three years probation, and a lifetime registration as a sex offender. <laughs> That's crazy, man. You can't use the internet to meet women anymore. Like... Well, that was 2006. I guess you could back then. It's probably easier to meet kids online now because there's so many different apps, right? <laughs> to my uh, to the child predators in the audience, can anyone confirm? You guys have had success. Do you find success on TikTok? For sex with a little girl. Okay, here we go. We are about to sell the shit out of this kill you. He's gonna f shit a brick. Hello, sir. Wait till you get a load of this. This is the pure sugar wine here, Daddy. You tell me. He loves it. I he pays good. Okay. Here we go. So can I just drop them all on here? Can I do it like this? Does that go up? Oh, it does. Okay, cool.
Is that right? Eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's counting up. Yeah, now we have 3,000. We might make another two. Come on, I just gave you another one. There it is. Yeah, he's fair. Better say 340 when I come back. Yeah. All right, that's good money. That's good money. I love it. Now what? Get the fuck out of here. Try to figure out what's wrong with the car. Hey, radio. Hi. You found it, baby. What's going on? Uh, hold on just a second. Why, uh, why me? Why now? You'll have to wait till the show if you want the good shit. This is just a phone call. You have a show. What do you think you're calling? I think I'm calling up to tap into direct injection of hate. And there's a show. Well, I charge for that, yeah. You charge for that? Fuck this, I'm out of here. Oh, you're a puss. Alright. 
Well, we took a we took a call as if we were from Hate Radio there. Oh no, I'm wrecking the van. Okay. How did he know there was a, there was a show? He didn't know there was a show, but he uh, he knew my number. And that's the phone number I give to uh, <laughs> people in my professional life as well. Call the hate line. This is what happens when worlds collide. Remember that song? Okay. Well, we made it. We sure, we sure did make it. Van is nice and clean. We got enough money for all the fuel we need and all that shit. Okay. Cool. Things are good. I just I can't figure out why this car won't start. Like I, I feel like maybe I should look at the wiring checklist one more time. Oh, but then the then the car quit quit trying to turn too, so I'm gonna look at the battery real quick. Yeah, battery's good now. Now let's just try and start it and see what happens. Okay.
Maybe the distributor is not tuned. Oh, I think that was the problem. Nice. Cool. All right, we got it running. This is awesome. Get that shit back on there. Can I not do that while it's on, I guess? <gasps> Easy. What the fuck? Where'd my tools go? That almost happened again. Doesn't take a six. Does it take a seven? Uh, let's check the oil one more time. We might have to top it off, you know? I need to be keeping oil in the car. Okay, let's see. Um, more oil. What about coolant?
Fuck it, I assume it's it's good. I, I can't tell, you know. We'll take that with us too. Alright, we'll take it on a little run. Just see how it drives. Oh, there's my ratio. So it needs a little work. We'll, we'll come back to it. It's almost night. Okay, and uh, yeah, it's like right now midnight, so I'll go get my flashlight, go to bed. There we go. Go to bed. <laughs> go to bed drinking. never hurts. Alright, we woke up in the morning with mosquitoes. It's a nice casual morning here. The car stalled. All right, we're going to adjust the air fuel ratio. Fuck, am I stuck in the fucking door? And that'll be cool. So I believe I need the screwdriver. the temperature. It's still cool. So. Yeah. So we're going to heat the car up, let it get warm. And uh, come back to it. Let's see, while that's getting warm. Uh oh.
Oh, the fucking uh, belt broke. All right, the belt broke. We need to get the battery out, hook it up. Alternator belt. Great. Well, it's Thursday. I've got the money. Wish I had the belt already. I even thought about, like, maybe I should buy another one. Whatever. Just go to town, get my belt, whatever. I think uh, this is my opportunity to take a break and eat something. I can come back to this later. Until then, the car is going great. It's looking really good.